Tasker has a new widget editor. You may have heard of the new V2 widget that you can now add with Tasker. So if you add a widget in your home screen like this, give it a name, let's call it Reddit, and then make it a little bit bigger. And now if you go into Tasker, create a new task called Widget Reddit, you'll see just how easy it is to create a widget now. Use the Widget V2 action, select the widget you just created, select Custom Layout, and here use the magnifying glass to select Editor. And this is the new editor. It always starts off with a column and an empty text, just, just so you have a base to work on. But in this case, let's make this a scaffold. A scaffold is just like a framework, an empty framework, where you put various um, components in. A scaffold has the title and the content. So let's first add a title, which is a title bar. And here, we'll use an icon that I've prepared here, which is a tasker icon. And then some text like tasker reddit. You can see that the preview updates in real time here. Everything you do down here will show up here how the widget will look like. So now you have the scaffold with an empty text. So instead of an empty text, let's add some text here. Well, let's say we had something like new tasker news. And then another task, a text called or that says some other news. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put this in a column. So you need to, if you don't put it in a column, as you can see, it shows up one of the, over the other. So column, and here you'll add the text. So some tasker news. and then other tasker news and as you can see they show up on top of each other because they're in a column i just have to delete these other texts here so there you go that, that looks like that but wouldn't it be cooler if you could simply get these news directly from the tasker reddit instead of just uh, putting them directly here. Well, you can do that. What you need to do now is in this column, instead of using text, use a placeholder. And then in the placeholder, we'll add uh, topics, for example. This is a variable, an array variable that we're going to create next. So. Everything in the topics variable will show up as a list here. Oh, and don't forget to set the column here to scrolling. So if you have many news, they show up as a scrolling list. And as you can see, when you select the various elements, they will be highlighted, highlighted, highlighted like this. So this is the column. If you go into the text or the placeholder, you'll see that this is highlighted and so on. So now we have the basic structure. We now no, just need to create the, the various news that will show up there. So save this, and as you can see, it creates the whole JSON structure for you. No work needed. Now to get the news, we just need to do an HTTP request. Use this handy URL which will get the top five news from the Tasker Reddit. Put it here. And then we just need to merge all of these news into a single array. And then I already checked, and this is the way to get the title from that, from that JSON there. From that request data, you'll get the title and URL for each of the items in the data. Then you format it, and, and then remember that you called it topics. You use topics in the 
widget before, so call that topics here as well. And then here in the format, you can simply create another widget with the handy widget v2 option here. So this will be like a sub widget, so where we'll create each row of that list that, that we created before. So here, in, instead of an empty text, we could even delete this and simply add a text. And the text will create, will contain the title. Like this. And the interaction, we can send a command with the URL. That way, when we click it, the URL will be sent as a command. So if you save this, you get a mini widget here in the format. And then you have the topics array as an output. And I'll put it up here. And if you run this, you should get something like this. You have the title, the Reddit, and you have a scrollable list down here. We can make it look a little bit better by adding a little padding around the text. So we could do that by going in here, editing this, going to widget v2 again, and here in the properties, let's add like four padding around the text. We could click this to make to select the padding uh, in different directions to be different values, but we just need it to be equal in all values, in all directions. So save. As you can see, it added the padding here. And if you run this, you get it looking a bit better. Now all we need to do, oh, um, first in the widget, in the main widget, let's make the interaction command prefix be launch URL. If you make the command prefix on the root item here be a certain command, a certain prefix, that prefix will be applied to all commands inside the widget. So if you save this, you can see that it added here, command prefix. And now all we need to do is create a profile with a command event launch URL. Uh, okay, it should be this, and then anything after that, and the variable after that will be the URL itself. And when that command is sent, we should open or browse the URL that was sent. Okay, so now if you go here and run this again, as you can see, just three simple actions, and you can create a list of all the latest Reddit posts. So it's super easy. So if I click this, it simply opens. And if I click that, it opens again. So just so you, I'm, I'm sure that you understand how this works. In the base, uh, in the, there's a base structure created here with the command prefix, prefix launch URL, which sets the prefix for all of the widget. Then for all of the titles and and URLs that we got from this URL, from this um, from this data URL here, which will provide titles and URLs for the subreddit, we will merge those arrays in the format of a small widget, which is just a text. And for each of that, each of those texts, the command will be the URL itself. So if you join the prefix of launch URL with the command of each URL, you get a command like this. Starts with launch URL, equals, colon, equals, and then after that will come the URL.
Then you create a variable with that and simply browse that URL. So as you can see, it's super simple to create a widget now with the new editor and with the merge to create an array of little widgets that you can then use on a main widget and do stuff like this. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.